Let me start with an introduction. I am Obuefi Jidofo Anumba, the Onowu of the Oka Kingdom. And here with me is His Royal Highness, Prince Nelson, the Crown Prince of the Oka Kingdom. Young Escobar. What in the God's name are you doing here? Oh, you know my prince. That means our journey is already successful. Your journey is not successful and can never be successful. Now, all of you, get out of this palace. Now. Maureen, your noise is becoming too much. Have you forgotten who I am? Or have you forgotten what I am capable of doing? On the contrary, young Escobar. I remember who you are. I know what you did. And I know what you can do. To think that I have moved on with my life and forgotten everything you did to me. Now you have the f the audacity to walk into my father's house with your ugly face is what I still don't understand. But let me make one thing clear to you. No matter where you hide, young Escobar, I will hunt you <coughs> down. I am not here to extend words with you. My healing process lies in the hands of your sister, Princess Chiso. And that's why I'm here. Is she home? To think that you believe that I will hand over my sister to you makes you a dreamer. Like I said, Get out of my father's compound now. You are here. It is not hallucination as, as I was made to believe. You are real. <sighs> now get into your room and lock yourself up. Get out of this palace right now. I am standing here in my capacity as the Crown Prince of Joker. For that reason, you have no right to discharge the one I have come to see. I have every right to ask you to Sister, leave this compound please. right now. Sister, please. You are not welcomed here. Get out! Sister, these are royal guests. Will you Sister. shut that thing you call a mouth? I said get into your room before I make you do it. As the head princess of Ikenga Kingdom, I command you to take this girl into her room. Now! Touch me! Get out of my father's palace. Why is it that a man like you is not actually seeing things the way they are supposed to be seen? In the Oka Kingdom, we have laid down procedure that people must follow for them to emerge as king. Somebody who has not been exposed to the Ogidi of this kingdom, how can he possibly be your crown prince? I don't understand this. In fact, uh, it's obvious that all the men of the council I'm not seeing it from the point of view. They know what I am saying. The others are aware of this, and that is why they want to settle him with the throne of this kingdom. But I want you to go and mark it somewhere. Nelson will never rule as king in this town. I am going to resist him. And I'm going to resist him with even the last drop of my blood. I don't fight women. But don't forget. 
I am still young Escobar. Not even your kingdom can save you if I decide to waste you. Now, sit down. The mad. I mean, you want you, you, you want to use me shy for these camps? My friend, shut up. You see this walk? They want to carry on for head, not for here. So that why I won't put you for trouble, they don't do like this. You see for this campus, mind your business. If you love your life, mind your business. No, you should bear the power of life. For your information, Nami be Escobar. Nobody's using for these camps. You don't understand? This seat where you sit down, many people don't sit here. Oh, but I want to go buy my mother. The next time you stress me, I swear I will chop you into pieces. No jokes. Ask questions. Namibia is Cuba. You may forget every other thing, but do not forget you are royalty. You are a princess for crying out loud, and you have royal blood flowing in your veins. So behave as one. I don't understand why you feel the need to remind me I'm a princess. Have I not? been carrying myself as a princess. No, Chisum, you have not. You have been behaving as if this is the end of the world and that is not acceptable to me. You know, sometimes I really do not understand you. Because we are talking about our father, the king, who is lying critically ill in a hospital bed. And from the look of things, it appears the doctors are helpless. And you expect me to not be bothered? Quit being negative, Chiso. Why don't you try positivity? Yes, our father is sick. He's lying on the bed in the hospital. I am aware of that. And the doctors are doing everything in their power to make sure that he comes out alive. So why don't you try positivity for once? Hello, this is Maureen, the Adese of Ikenga Kingdom. Yes. Listen, I am calling to tell you that the entire kingdom, when I mean the entire kingdom, the people of Ikenga Kingdom are relying on you to make sure that Igor Basi of Ikenga Kingdom comes out alive. Oh, really? You know, like they say, there are so many sides to everything. So how about you doing your job? And when you are done doing your job, we can 
talk about the other thing. Obina, what I don't understand here is that you don't even know the politics that is playing out in the Kinga Kingdom. Listen to me. You know who is my brother. And I have a privileged information on the politics that is playing out here. Phillips, what is the matter with you? What is my business with politics and men in council? I'm in love with Princess Maureen. And I've decided to make her my wife. She's the one that brings me to the palace. And not politics and all that. That's exactly where the problem is with you, Obina. Listen, let me tell you one thing that you don't understand. If you had allowed me to land, you would have understood the fact that Princess Maureen never wanted her name to be mentioned. Because she happens to be the politics that is playing out here. What do you mean? Good, I'm going to tell you. The king has no son. And the king had succeeded in securing an unpopular agreement with the men in council. Princess Maureen would become the queen when the king dies. Phillips, I've never heard such a thing before. How? Where? And that's why I said it's an unpopular agreement. She was going to exercise all the powers of the king. And that power happens to be her obsession for the now. Obina, what are you not understanding here? Marriage is the least thing on Maureen's mind. Don't you get it? Phillips, all you are saying may be true. But the love I have for her will conquer all the politics. <sighs> yes. Obina, you're my friend and the truth has to be told. Secure another babe and then move on with your life. Why trying to have dealings with a politician who probably doesn't have a single respect for anyone? Is that what you want? <coughs> Phillips, she may not have respect for anyone, but she has respect for me. And that is what is most important. I love her. I have made up my mind on making her my wife. And there is nothing you or any other person will do to change my position. So, right, let us just end it here and now. Are you for real? Please, it's time to drink. From what you're saying, it is very clear you don't know how Joker is are dragging you on Joker platform, Progressive Union. They are saying you are scheming to be king. And Chief Kuko, you know that is not good. Well, my very good friend Ikuku, I'm going to tell you this. I am not bothered. I am not bothered with what people say on social media or what they say on the platform of the Progressive Union. Because they are speaking from the point of ignorance. And a man like me should not allow that to bother him. But everything they're saying is very, very clear. But from what I'm saying too, you are against Prince Nelson because you want to be king. I am not going to allow you to do that lie. Listen. Nelson is a stranger. He's not my problem. He is not my problem because he's a stranger completely. And I see it as an insult, even mentioning his name. Uh, Chief Okon, why are you not going too far? Because Prince Nelson we're talking about here is born of the king, which automatically qualifies him as the crown prince of this Kijoka kingdom. Even the elders know that, which is why they are planning to install him as the king. Why are you calling him a stranger? I am calling him a stranger because indeed he is a stranger. Why is it that a man like you is not actually saying things the way they are supposed to be saying? 
In the Kakina, we have laid down procedure that people must follow for them to emerge as king. Somebody who has not been exposed to the Ogidi of this kingdom, how can he possibly be your crown prince? His father, I believe, is aware. And that is why he's, he technically avoided this, the issue of him being exposed to the Ogidi. How can you possibly refer to such a man as your crown prince? Chief Okonko, I, I, I have to tell you the truth. You are bringing a new twist into this. I don't understand this. In fact, uh, it's obvious that all the men of the council are not seeing from your point of view. They know what I am saying. The issue of the matter is that he has been able to he has been able to humble them because of his affiliation with a lot of court groups on campus. Are you not aware that nursing is a courtist who can kill at the slightest provocation? The others are aware of this and that is why they want to settle him with the throne of this kingdom. But I want you to go and mark it somewhere. Nursing will never rule as king in this town. I am going to resist him. And I'm going to resist him with even the last drop of my blood. My friend.
Wind. Why? Why are you here with me? You're not talking. Is anything the matter? Are you a prince? I wish to go back to my father. And my kingdom. Do you also wish to go back? Are we dead? The forest of death. Royal. Forest. Ah! You finally uttered a word. He can talk. Oh. oh. How appealing. The moment I set my eyes on you. Something left me. Really? Yes. What could that be? It's 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 like a, like a fire. It's not that good. Please. Take me back. I am not ordinary. Um. I think you need some rest. Come with me. Please. She's coming. Who is coming? The once powerful one who got compromised. For her to come here means she has regained her powers. What does she want from me? I'm confused. Shh, my love. Shh. Don't say anything. Shh. Stop. Please. Please, my love. Chisom. 
wisdom, I need to heal you. I am here because of your father. Make this work easy for me and show yourself. My love, your voice is very thick. Please do not say anything again. She cannot trace us if you say nothing. Yoga Kingdom. How are you feeling now? Are you feeling better now? Come. Come. Let me sit with your mother. My son. I want you to listen to me. You are not insane. You are not mad. You are not even into narcotics. You are the wisest. The greatest. The crown prince of the Oka kingdom. This is your glory. This is your throne. This is your honor. You are the one that will take over this throne and reign forever as the king of the Oka kingdom. Mother. Yes, my son. Why is it that each time the people of the Oka, the cabinet chiefs and the elders in council each time they come together and talk about making me king, something mysterious will happen and I will end up seeing myself in a royal forest with an unknown princess. What is the meaning of that? Chief Okonkwo has really dealt with me. Chief Okonkwo has dealt with me. He wants this throne at all costs. I want you to forget about him. He's not capable of doing anything. He does not exist. He is as good as nothing. So don't let his threats get at you. There's no way the last born of the Oka Kingdom can become the king. It is not possible. Don't allow his threat get at you, my son. Be brave. This is your throne. The elders of this kingdom have traveled to Bodamo here to get his here. In the next three days, he'll be here with us. And he's coming with this solution that we all are waiting for mom two great DPS have failed already this one will not fail my son he won't fail let's be hopeful this one is not just a seer he's also a healer and he's anointed from the whole womb oh. 
I'd rather sink this palace with everyone in it than watch Jifu Kunkwa take what rightfully belongs to me. Over my dead body will he wear the crown of my late father. It will never happen. And I am solidly behind you, son. Why now? Now that the prince is preparing to come see father, why must it be now he will become so sick to the point he cannot even stand? Wait a minute, Sonia. Not let me understand something. Must you exhibit your selfishness all the time? Like every single time you have to be selfish. I beg your pardon. What do you mean by selfishness? Should I understand it to mean that father's sickness is actually not your concern? No, you are more concerned about the person who is supposed to receive your supposed pseudo. My goodness. Right? Huh? You... You have a complete misunderstanding of this. No, I don't. Mm -mm, Chisum, I do not. Because I know exactly what is running in that small head of yours. You are just concerned about who is, who is going to receive your suitor when they come. You're misjudging. No, you it's are... not fair. I am trying so hard. So hard to comport myself as the first daughter of this kingdom. But you being selfish and your nonchalant attitude is beginning to get me angry. Your father is sick, Chisom. Your father is at the point of death and we're not even sure he's going to make it out. And here you are talking about somebody to receive your suitor. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You misjudge him. No, you misjudge your stupid self. Gosh, I am so disappointed in you. Excuse me. Why can't my own sister ever see things from my point of view? Even for once, just once! <sighs> now that she's gone, can I talk? My love. You see, I found peace with you. I found this peace and inner joy beyond comprehension. Inasmuch as I want to return to my kingdom, a bigger part of me wants to stay here with you and enjoy this peace forever. But I have to leave someday. I told you how I found myself here, right? Yes, you did. And I told you mine. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can remember was having a crucial meeting with some men. Some men? So, who was that priestess? She's a worthless priestess. Yes. She's a worthless priestess that is not worth our time. I would rather we talk about ourselves. <laughs> you are like a joyful river flowing in my head. And I love 
every bit of it. As a matter of fact, I don't want it to stop. So trust me, I will definitely come back for you. If this is not our death, I would love to see you again. And I shall wait for you. What a man, unique unto himself, truly one of a kind. <laughs> the only man I love with everything I have. But the question is, who wouldn't love him? I mean, who? There is a bad news, or should I say, a slightly bad information. What is it? The king of Ikenga is sick. I will not be able to host us in his palace. This is the first time we will be traveling this far into that kingdom. And it's unfortunate for us. In that case, I shall um, go alone. My prince, please, you have to wait. Let our great healer attend to you first. Hello. My prince. I know the princess I always see in my trance. She has absolutely nothing to do with the king of the kingdom. My son, but you just called her a princess. But we are going to see her, not her father. She is important to my health, and you know it. We cannot enter into the kingdom without prior information to the king. My prince, these are more spiritual than we think. Let us follow the process. No. Oh no, we have written a letter of notice that we are coming to Ikengaland. To the palace to be precise. So what are you saying? Or is my health not paramount to you? Um, my son, please calm down. Eh? You have to calm down. Relax. No. I understand what you know will say. No. There are strict protocols to some of these things. It's not making sense to me. I've heard it up to here. I can't wait no more. I know the girl I always see in my trance. We fell in love fine and good. We must see her at all costs. Unless you are trying to tell me that my health is not important to you people. No, 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 Prince. That's not what we mean. Oh no. Oh no. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I will travel to Ikenga Kingdom and I will meet with the princess. The first daughter will preside over the meeting on behalf of her father. Please, whatever we can do, let's be fast about it, as you can see. My son is losing his mind. Please. It is well, my queen. Nedi. Hmm? I want you to tell us what you told me in the kitchen. I want others to hear. Hey. Cynthia. Hmm? Why are you dragging this? Why? I am not dragging anything. What you said to me is unconsumable by me. It can't go down my throat. So I want them to hear too. Hi. Cynthia. Did I do anything wrong in telling you my mind? You don't understand. See, these things just keep coming and coming, making me restless, disturbing my head. And, and I told you. Just hold it there. What? Hold it there. You said something to me. I didn't sit well with me. That's why I called everybody out here. So that you can say it. Just say it. 
Tell us that that bugged your mind. We want to hear it. Neddy. Eh? Tell us. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. People should wait. Neddy. Eh? What is it? Can you tell us? Eh? I sense danger. I sense danger. danger. Cynthia, I regret telling you this, honestly. And I will never speak about it again. I don't want to talk about it. For real? You want Tonda to strike you? You said something to me and I'm not comfortable with it. Now you don't want to say it to others here. Okay, you wonder when they will say, ah, who did you tell? You say it's Cynthia. They will not call me. No. Hey, hey, hey. Tonda will not strike her for anything. What's wrong with you? Eh? Why do you like problems? Why do you like quarrels? If she don't want to say it, then you tell us. Yes. Eh? Tell us. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and expose her here and now. Are you talking to me? You said I like troubles mm -hmm. and fights. Uh -huh. Was I talking to you? Are you in uh -huh. In fact, I am done with this drama. Hey. By the time the princess and the elders will call you, you will come and say what you said to me. Uh, 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 Cynthia. Why you don't call my name? C Cynthia, please. You will not do this. Cynthia. Don't call my name. Cynthia. Don't call my name. Cynthia, come back now, please. Cynthia. I, I, I see. Cynthia. Hey. Let her go. I am finished. Oh, I am finished. Oh, who is doing this to me? Who is tormenting me? This mouth will put me in trouble. My mouth will put me in trouble. What is it now? Eh? What is it? Why can't you tell us? Well, I trust Cynthia. She will tell me. Mm. Eh? Ah. Let them go. But, Nedu, eh? repeat after me. Your mouth will not kill you in this palace. My mouth will not kill me in this palace. Again? My mouth will not kill me in this palace. What is, what is, what is wrong with you? I keep telling you to stay away from Cynthia and Ify. They don't mean good for you. They are jealous. They are jealous that you are dating AJZ in this palace. I don't know why you don't listen to me. Hey. Eh? Okay, now tell me. What did you tell Cynthia in the kitchen? Eh? I want me to tell you. Eh? I promise you will not tell anyone, no. I don't want trouble. I promise. You can count on me. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do you know that Princess Maureen poisoned her father, the king? She more. <laughs> Your Majesty, you should have remained in the hospital, asking the doctors to bring you back home. It's not the best decision. Oh no, I am the king. Taking me to the hospital in the first place was a mistake. This is what I don't understand. The one that is sick should be at the hospital. Father, why do you keep being stubborn? Why? No. Your Majesty. The tears of my daughter hurts me so much. I want to talk with you alone. Take her away since she has decided not to stop crying. No, Father, no. No, Father. I am going to stay by your side. I will stay by your side and beg death not to take you away from me, Father. Father, you, 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 you promised to meet my future husband. You remember the man I told you about? He is alive, Father. He is real. You promised you were going to meet him. You promised to meet my children, your grandchildren. Father, you said you would bless them. Please don't take that away from us. Please, Father, please. I beg you. Please. Father, please. Hello. Your Majesty. 
Father, please, Father, I beg you. Father, please, I can't. Father, please. Father, I beg you. Father, don't do this to me, please, please. Father, please, oh no, don't touch me. My princess, my princess, please. Father, please. Father, you need to Father, let me talk to me. you. Father, let me please. Speak with him, please. I want to speak to my father. You will still speak with him. Please. Father, please. It's all it's all right. Right. I want to talk with you alone. Father, please, I beg you. Father, please. Jesus, please. Father, please, I beg you. Father, please, no, don't leave me. Father, I beg please. you. You need to go. You need to leave. <laughs> Let me discuss with you. <laughs> Marrying my first daughter must not see my cups. Your Majesty, I know the custom of this land. I know. Since the gods have refused to answer my prayers and bless me with sons, I am proud of my daughters. I am proud of my daughters. Your Majesty. Yes. Whatever my daughter Maureen tells you, do it. She is strong and capable to rule this kingdom in my stead. She is not like her sister, who is weak and faint-hearted. Yes, Your Majesty. Your daughter will become the queen as soon as you depart from us. Oh. Oh, no. Yes. If you would ask me, I would say that there is no sense in leaving father here. Look at him. He is not getting any better. Taking him to a hospital where a team of specialist doctors can attend to him is the right thing we should be doing. Please. My daughter, I totally agree with you. Hmm. But if we do that, the mischief makers in the Kenga Kingdom who we'll start saying our king is defied, that our king is a defied king. Oh no, who cares about these so-called mischief makers? Who? If father should die, who will they call names? Please, the most important thing we should focus on right now is to make sure father recovers. Will you just shut up your mouth and let me think? How many times have I warned you with the stupid behaviors of yours that undermines royalty? Hmm? Do you still not understand me, sister? Do you not? Father is the reason we are royalty. If father should die, do you think we will still be royal? Father is not going to die. And will you stop talking about death? Huh? This is why I don't get you involved in critical decisions in this palace. Because your IQ is clearly low. Extremely low. That is an insult to my person and I will not take it. Enough. And if you don't take it, what Enough. will you do? Enough. No, are you going to square up to me? Eh? Or do you want me to lock you up in your room? Enough. Enough of this class behavior and the gross ineptitude. What is wrong with you, Paul? This is when the time to fight. The doctors have not given up on you. So why do you leave? Why do you give up? Do you people give up? Oh no, please, wait. can we get to the matter at hand? Look, I, please, this should stop. With all due respect, don't you ever raise your voice at me. <sighs> Thank you. You people are fighting, trying to give up on him. What? Why? I don't like this. Truth. 
Truth is like a seed planted beneath the earth. At the right time, it will spring up. Dinka, what do you mean by that thing you just said? One cannot be his own enemy. One cannot fight against himself. A brother who battles his brother in war can never be a victor. I am only be careful with the choice of my words so that I can go home with my head hanging on my shoulders. It is left for you elders to discern for the gray hair of an old man should not only speak of his age but also for discernment. This man is getting on my nerves. Be careful. You might not leave this palace if you keep confusing me anymore. Dinka, all we want is for our crown prince to be completely healed. We don't want to start pointing fingers at any particular person. Not now, please. But he has already found a healer. An oasis of tranquility and calmness lies in the princess. Was that not what the priest said? That is what the chief priest said. She knows the truth. What truth and secret are you talking about? Huh? To remain relevant, one must say anything, do anything, and act anything. Deception is very rare and very hard to maintain. You are confusing me, Demon. You are confusing me. Did he also tell you that he can't be king? She knows the truth and the secret. What truth again are you talking about? Will you take this your nonsense out of here? Take it out of here before, uh, 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 be, 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 before I end up locate you. What nonsense are you talking about? God! God! My grace. Seize this man until he says what I want to hear. Okay, okay. Thank you, baby. Good. Good go. Move. Nonsense. Why can't I be king? No, tell me, why can't I be king? Am I not Escobar Jr.? Is Mandela not my cousin? So why can't I be king? No, okay, you tell me. You tell me, why can't I be king? Am I not Escobar Jr.? Is Mandela not my cousin? So why can't I be king? 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 I am Escobar Junior and Mandela is my cousin. Mandela is my cousin. What? So, so why? So, 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 why? Why? You are very, very stupid. Come here. Why can't I be king? You, 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 you. Don't move out. Come here. Tell me. I am Escobar Junior. Mandela is my cousin. Why am I king? Why am I king? Why am I king? What is going on? Why? You shouldn't have allowed him to drink a light. And that's enough, you know. That's enough! What do you mean? Ibubo went and brought a madman to my palace. You all conspired to bring a madman to my palace and he ended up confusing everyone. Excuse me. Hi. 
this is more spiritual than everyone think. Do you even understand the gravity of what you did? How can you even say that Princess Moen poisoned the king? It is here, honestly. I don't know how these things happen. No. I, I, you won't even understand. Do you know that something will just register in my spirit and then a higher force will now be pushing me to speak out, to say it. And when I don't say it, I, it, it, it now seems as if I am going crazy or mad and I will have no option than to say it. it. It is not my fault though. Are you sure you are not possessed? Uh -uh. Why would you say that? I am not possessed and nothing is wrong with me. But you just said that some forces that you can't even explain are pushing you to be saying things that you can't defend. Please, AJZ, I am not possessed. Nothing is wrong with me. Besides, I am not even lying. Princess Maureen poisoned her father, the king. She did. You know what? Look, we are not going to continue on this argument. All right? Princess Maureen will eventually hear this. And she's going to order for your arrest. Neddy. Eh? You, she will kill you. Hey. You are going to die. Hey. The more reason I am scared though. That is the only reason I am scared. Because I don't want to die. I don't want to die, honestly. It's okay. Calm down, okay? Don't worry. Okay. I'm going to smuggle you out of this palace tonight. Huh? Smuggle me out? To where? Have you forgotten that I am just an orphan? I have nowhere to go. I, I, I don't have anywhere to go to. Calm down. I will take you to my grandmother. She will be able to help you. Help me? Do you not mean to say that I have a problem? A JZ? That's not what I mean. But yes, you need help. And she will provide that. I I'm not going to allow you to remain in this palace and die. So I'm smuggling you out tonight. I will not die. What are you talking about? Cynthia, I begged you. I begged you not to tell the princess. Why? Oh, spare me that. Spare me that. Why are you even raising your voice at me? My love, see, I didn't tell anybody anything. Let the girl what she deserves. I never mentioned anything to anyone. I promise, I didn't. Really? Yes. Let me correct this. I am not your love. And I can never be. Never! Then watch me tell the princess what Neddy said about her. Hmm. Who cares? You cannot threaten me with that. Because you have already told her. Yes, you did. But just pray. Pray. Nothing happens to that poor innocent girl. Just pray. Nonsense. It, it seems like your one day have started again, eh? I didn't tell anybody anything. Oh, wait, why is it? Why is it for me look at me? <laughs> wait now. Bobby, is everything okay? Mama, who is my father? She will give me. What kind of question is that? I've lived in this place all my life, thinking that I'm home. Mama, who is my father? Where does he come from? Where? My friend, will you shut up? Shut your mouth! Look at this one, though. I am here for us to talk about you getting married to Princess uh, Maureen and giving me a grant and you're here saying Bangladesh. Are you okay? Is everything, is everything okay with you? Standing here is Obina, 35 years old. An evil man who doesn't know where he comes from. Yes. Obina. I, I've said it before, and I'm saying it again. Your father is dead. He died when you were even in my womb. 
You told me this a million times. Same old story. Yes. So you don't know where he comes from. Obina, I said I don't know. I don't know. I don't know his relation. I don't know his family. I don't know his relation. I don't know anywhere that has a clue yes, where he's from. Yes, you got pregnant for him. Oh! You got pregnant for a man you don't know where he comes from. Wait, Obina, do you realize I'm your mother? You're hurting me. I told you this thing happened once. It was just once. We met as coppers. We were not close. We were never in love. It just happened. Out of the excitement of our personal night party, we were both drunk. We did a whole lot of nasty things together and it happened. The next thing I heard was he was dead. He died on his way returning to the east. The car he was ran under a trailer and everyone in the car died. Obina, why are you doing this? I told you this thing before. Why are you bringing it up again after many years? Why? How am I supposed to know where he's from? I don't know. No, you shouldn't know. Should you know? No! Standing here is Obina. Hi. A lost evil man who is a product of one nasty night. Product of alcohol. <sighs> One night night of excitement. You once told me that my father is not a house man. Am I correct? Ubin, I did. Good. But it is the truth. I'm He's an evil man. From where exactly? Anambara, Imo, Ebony, Enugu, Abia. You name it! As Jess said, I don't know. Ah. Mother. I would pretend you never told me this story. This incoherent story, I would act like you never told me. I would act like a dummy. You... Yes. You got pregnant for a man you don't know where he comes from. Now you can't even find your way back to Castina, where you served and met and had one nasty night. I produced Obina. <sighs> the secretary is still there. You don't know. Obina. Yes. The school is no more. No more. Boko Haram are taking over the place. How am I supposed to know where, where? How am I supposed to know how to get to the family? I don't know. I'm telling you the truth. Oh my God. Obina, why are you stressing me? Why? I'm telling you the truth. Will I be lying to my own son? Uh, Cynthia, <clears throat> speak before the princess. Tell her that you told me in the morning. No, I came to you in private. Why are you trying to put me on the spot? Don't be afraid, my dear. Nothing will happen to you. Hmm? I just want to mask the truth. Speak. All right. Don't speak. My friend, will you speak and stop shaking like a mini pig? I I told you what Nedi told me in confidence. She confided in me that Princess Maureen was the one who poisoned the king. What? what? Yes. Um. Hello. Uh, yes. That was what I heard this morning. And that's why this meeting was convened. I just want to unmask the truth. Unmask oh, what rubbish truth? Oh no. <sighs> Hold on, oh no. Don't tell me you actually believe this lies from this aunt. Don't tell me you believe there's bullshit coming from them. The doctors earlier told me that our king was poisoned. Oh. And not long. So some other person is. is oh no, we can't, please, can you, can you just stop already? Can you stop already? What nonsense are we talking about here? Are you trying to tell me that I, Princess Maureen or Basi, poisoned my father? Ah. The king of the kingdom.
How did I go wrong with you? No. No, I'm... What did I do to you that you would want to destroy my image in this palace? I am sorry, my princess. It, it is not intentional. I didn't even know when I said it. Maybe I was drunk. I, I am sorry. Oh no, did you listen to her? <laughs> did you just hear the person you brought before me to judge a case, what she said? Did you hear her? Did you listen? I'm listening. I'm listening. And you aren't. I don't know who sent you. I don't know why you have chosen to destroy my image in this palace. No, no. But let me tell you something. If there is any blood in you, she will cry blood. And I will stop on you now. Get out of my throat. Get out! Princess, do less of the threat. I am still trying to trace the truth. Tracing what stupid truth? Tracing what stupid truth, Omowu? Because I don't understand what you're trying to judge here. Look at the idiot you brought before me to judge a stupid case. Well, that is the more reason why you should calm down let us oh, find it. My princess. It's okay. And where this, this rumor is coming from is what I don't know. But I will get to the root of it. My son, I am ready to go with you anywhere. Listen to me. Michael never knew I was pregnant before he died. Everything happened so fast. Honestly. I never even knew I was pregnant until three months. How could he have known I was pregnant when he was dead? We never, we never dated. We never in love. It was just a total mistake. So I was a mistake. Oh. I never said so. I came into this world as a mistake. A mistake of one night stand with a man you don't know where he comes from. Oh, we know. My mother, my sisters, even my father wanted me to abort you, my child. But I refused. Because they called you a mistake. And because I refused, they chased me out of the house. They called me all sorts of names. They called me useless. They said I'm a waste of resources. I slept outside. I was under the rain. Under the scorchy sun, Rina. I slept under the bridge. I was molested by area boys. Rina was raped. And in all of this, I never gave in to the agony, the pain. You know what? Each time I feel you kick inside of me, it gives me hope. It gives me excitement. Oh, Rina, look at you today. Look at what you have become. A wealthy man. Vying for the position of a local government chairman. All the people that rejected you. The people that wanted me to kill you through abortion. They come here today for you to help them. And you give them money. You clothe them. You house them. You even built a mansion for your grandparents. Obina. Soon you're going to be getting married to a princess. Should I have aborted you? Should I have aborted you, my son? Oh, my 
Professor, I will not lie to you. I don't know where your late father came from. I don't know. for everything I said. My love. My all in all. My partner in crime. I feel the way I feel. <laughs> yeah, because sometimes I go with my friends and we have conversation. You hear them talk about their father, how they treat their father, how they take them abroad. Yeah, yeah, it's open. <sighs> I understand. <laughs> but you need to be strong. I do feel it better than some of them. I don't even have a father. Not even a sorrow kiss. It's okay. You need to be strong, okay? I believe God. I believe that one day you find your root. I believe that. I want to be left alone. I want... I want to be left alone. Chison, why would you believe I poisoned our father? You cannot deny it. You think you love our father more than I do? Listen, Chison, someone an enemy is trying to infiltrate this palace and I'm trying everything possible to stop it and you think me poisoning and killing our father would be the best form of action? But you want to become the queen. Oh yes, I want to be the queen. But not as desperate as killing our own father. Do you think I'll go- Then why are you not married? Why have you not taken your relationship with Obina seriously? Why don't you get married to him and leave the palace? Aha. You can't. Because you want to rule this land. So you're watching father very closely, waiting for him to die so you can ascend the throne. I may be young, but I'm not the fool. I know exactly what you're doing. You're a child. Therefore, you will not understand why I am like this. You will not understand why I have become this person. But believe me when I tell you this has nothing to do with the throne of Ikenga Kingdom. Hmm. I have longed to be married. I have always wanted to be married. I have wanted to experience marriage. I prayed for it. I dreamt it. I hungered for it. But not anymore. I no longer have those dreams. You parted ways with Kelvin a long time ago. Long enough for you to be married to another if you truly wanted to. But no. You want to become a tyrant's queen. You're waiting for father to die so you can achieve that aim. You're going to have to swear to the deity of this kingdom. And I'm ready to swear to any deity to prove my innocence, Chiso. And I cannot believe that my own sister would think so low of me.
What is it that I need to know? Son, I swear by the gods, I don't know. Don't touch me. My son, I don't know anything. You heard what Dimka said. That I will never be king. He said I will never succeed my father. And you are telling me you know nothing about it? Honestly, I am confused. And I wanted to know one thing. Don't listen to what Dimka said. What matters now is how we can get the princess so that you can be healed. That's what is important now. Mom. Listen to me and listen attentively. When the time is right, you will tell me all you have in the back. What have I done to Dinka? Dinka just came and created confusion and caused enmity between my son and I. Oh God. Oh. What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? How do I convince my son that I'm innocent? How do I convince him? How do I make him to believe me? How do I get back his trust for me? My prince, the princess of Ikenga kingdom frowns so badly at the mention of your name. I'm not surprised. I know. But please tell me, my prince, who is she to you? And why was she so angry that she could not even let me see the four walls of the Ikenga kingdom palace? The truth is that I know her. Yes. But I never knew that the princess in question is her sister. And I don't have any other access to that palace. Can we at least go for a peace talk? Never. Though my dead body will I bow to any woman, it doesn't work that way. Do you know me? I am Escuba. If not that I have repented, who is she to be displaying these Shanganiers before me? She torn down a letter from this kingdom. That's an insult on my personality. But my prince, what is the real problem? You know, this case is like a fly that perched on a scrotum. You can neither slap nor slam it out. I don't want to talk anything about her. All I need is my peace. I need peace. My prince, your condition is my problem. Listen, don't let me pour you drink out of anger. Go home and live with your wife. That reminds me, I heard you are seen in Chas wife. Is that true? Huh? Me? God forbid. Ah, my prince, how can you say that? Stop seeing another man's wife to avoid untimely death. Go home and live with your woman. Just know that if you are doing it, you will not see clear. The gods will dim your eyes. Leave. Good evening. You know, it's, it's not in my nature to be hostile to ladies, but you're pushing me so hard. I don't like it. Hostile should not be the word here, because I am doing this for love. How can you be talking about love when I already told you I have a woman in my life? Why are you pushing it? Who doesn't know the woman would think you're, you're in a relationship? Yes, I'm in a relationship with the princess. 
Does it mean you've not heard of the news making the rounds that this princess poisoned her father? She poisoned her father because she wanted her father to die fast so that she can become the queen. Can you do me a favor? Just shut up. Say only what you know. Opina, I am not lying. I'm saying the truth. You need to believe me. She poisoned her father. Helen, you see how desperate you are? Desperately trying to lie your way into my life. But you know what? That won't happen. Opina. Opina, I am telling you the truth. You're too refined to be with a woman that can poison her father. Your life will mean nothing to her. When you are done, please use that door. Obina! Why would you think I'm lying? Chief Okonkwo, you know I'm not supposed to be here in your house. You have been barred from the cabinet. And you have not even done anything that will warrant you are being admitted back. And well, that is because I am not one of those men who will be sitting comfortably on the keg of gunpowder and then continue to behave as if all is well. And who are the men sitting on the keg of gunpowder? As the one who has become the know or the one who is the know I will actually say you are the leader of that group. I am terribly disappointed that a man like you could allow himself to be bought. Chief Okonkwa, I take that as an insult. How could you say I have been bought? Bought by who? Bought by the same family that is doing everything humanly possible. To impose a character as the crown prince and possibly make that character the king when the said character has not been exposed to the Ogede of Udiyo Kakenda. And that is your reason for saying that I, Owefi Anumba, the Onoru of Udiyo Kingdom, have been bought. The king is the custodian of the Ogede. And when the king takes a decision that his son is fit to be called the crown prince of Udiyo Kingdom, who am I to object? And the king's decision, remember, must be respected. On your face, there's a real. You see, eh, this thing you just said now is the reason I will not come back to that cabinet. Because the cabinet is a compromised body, and a man like me cannot be part of a compromised body. It's just as simple as that. She for Congo. I'm here to ask you a sincere question, and I believe you will give me a sincere answer. Are you the one troubling the prince? I don't understand what you mean by troubling the prince. I already made it clear to all. I did not speak in secret. I spoke in the open. I spoke in the open. I didn't speak in secret. I said that Nelson will never be king in this town. Is that what you mean by troubling your prince? No. Sometimes a strange force will descend on him. And once that strange force descends on him, he starts behaving as if he's insane. So that is what I'm trying to know if you have any hand in that. Well, uh, answering you sincerely, I have no hand in what is happening to your prince. But if what you said is the truth, that there is a strange force that will always attack him, it will simply mean that the gods of this kingdom have risen against him. And if I were you, I will be busy tracing the root of that problem and not moving from house to house asking useless questions. That is what I'm trying to do. 
tracing the roots of that problem. I'm not moving from house to house. I only came to you. If actually you are sure you want to trace the root of the problem, move your number. You know where to go. Cynthia, why this mean? Why are you this wicked and heartless? If not because of your actions and your mother cannot keep close, your fellow maid will not be in this kind of tight situation. How? I don't even understand what you're saying. And besides, I, I couldn't consider the truth all to myself. You don't give me that kind of attitude. Don't tell me that you don't know what I'm saying. I know why you are doing all these things. Now you are playing a scent here, right? You called out other maids to force Mary to speak what she told you in the secret. Are you, are you not listening to yourself? You're a wicked one. You're a snake that is looking for someone to bite. So I am looking for someone to bite and it's you. you Why am I even wasting my time with you? Why? Cynthia, I, you cannot deny it. You cannot deny it. You have eyes for her man. Am I denying it? Am I not attractive? Why is it that he can't even look at me? Why won't he look my way? Am I not better than a lady? He cannot look, at, look at your way because you are a very short woman. Really? And your mouth cannot close. Yes, you are not his type. So he cannot look your way. Try now, the end of the year. You will get nothing. Whatever. However you want to place it, however you want to cook it. That is your business. No. I can't look at you. You are can't too old for me. <laughs> Hello? Chief Priest. I need to say this before we proceed. <clears throat> Death is the portion of Anyone that lies before this offer, death. Sister, please, do not swear by this. You could actually die and I do not want to lose my only sister. This is the more reason I need to swear. The more reason I need to swear on this offer to vindicate myself. Because if I don't, news will spread around the Kinga Kingdom that I poisoned my father. Who cares about the news? Who cares? It will soon die down and you can continue to live. Please, sister. Sister, please. Let me put an end to this one, so for I swear by this offer that if I have a hand in my father's sickness, if I poisoned my father, let death strike me. But if I don't, let death face every evil person involved in this conspiracy. So be it. You see... Mm. Mm. I have done a broader inquiry. Also, I have discussed extensively with the prince. And I came to the conclusion that there is something you know which you are not discussing with us. Something like what? I don't know. That is why I'm having this discussion with you. Oh no. I am, I am getting confused. Because 
you all know the story of uh, Prince Chin and how I came into this palace. So, what else, if not that you and the Council of Elders? We already are doing more than enough, Your Majesty. But the fingers are all pointing back at you. I mean, men who can see far with Ugini are pointing fingers at you. You should help us, Your Majesty. Help you? How? What else do you people want me to do? Is it that I am Prince Chima's biological mother? We already know of that, Your Majesty. We know that Queen Ulima died after giving birth to him. Then our king brought you in and you assumed the role of a mother in his life. We know of all those ones. Then, if you people already know that, what then is the issue? Why are all fingers pointing at me? You know me very well in this palace. You know I haven't committed any abominable act. I am not an evil person, no, no. No, no, Your Majesty. It has never been said anywhere that you are an abominable person. But we are getting confused. We just hope and pray that the gods show us a way out of all this. I don't believe in all that, but yours is slightly different. I am the crown prince of this kingdom. For that reason, I can set you free. Go and meet your mother, the queen. That is why I'm here for us to talk like men, not spirits. The girls have nothing to offer to you, my dear friend, Prince Nelson. Are the gods punishing me for my past? You are a very, very stubborn being. You know too well. You hunted and wounded a soul. That soul has had a glimpse of you. The bitterness have resurfaced. That soul has done evil to avert what was to happen. They said your healing lies in her hands, but not in her hands. You are not reaping the consequences of your past. You can't be king. I can see you do not want to leave this palace in one piece. Anyways, tell me the secret you said my mother knows. She is your biological mother. She will tell you everything you need to know, not me. You are not making sense to me. I will leave and return when you are ready to make sense. Let me go, for the girls have nothing to utter to you, because I have already told you all that you will need to know. know what is happening. I don't even know what is going on. But I've told you before, and I don't have anything hidden in my cupboard. 
Dimka told me that you are my mother. Which is different from what you told me initially. Look, I breastfed you. And I raised you up to this level. This is really not what is important now. Dimka said you are my biological mother. I am not. I carried you. And I raised you up. I've told you everything about your birth. Yes, I remember you told me that my mother died of cancer when I was barely six months old. You also told me how you nannied me and then became my father's queen. But are you telling me that Dimka does not know the difference between a surrogate mother and a biological mother? Look. Deep guy is confused. I've told you the truth. And our core interest now is how you can get well. We have to find a way around going to meet the princess that you met at the other side of the world. Let's find our way to a king kingdom. So that I will marry the princess for you and the coronation will start. All right. I will marry the princess. That's very good. That's my son. Look. There's no time left. But I will not forget what Dimka told me about you and secrets. Father, I know you can hear me. Please, Father, fight this death and return back to life. You have to give out my hand to this man. You have to give us your blessings, Father. I know he will come. He will come to me in reality. I love him so much. He promised to come for me. And I want you to meet him. You will like him. Why are you such a difficult character? The way you switch from one mood to another is confusing to me. You called her compromised. Yet, she traced you to this world and willing to help you. That simply means you are better than me because no one is trying to help me. When you say another world, are you by any means implying we are dead? I came here searching for healing and I found you. 
that makes you the healer. So tell me, when am I getting healed and free? You say too many things, all at the same time. How can I process them all? You are a princess, like you said, right? And I sense you're a prince. Why haven't you said anything in regards to that? What did you write? I can't understand anything from this. We are friends. But trust me, we need to become more than friends to achieve our goals. I am ready for anything you want. Anything whatsoever. But we will start with you opening up to me. I am a princess. I have a reason to believe you're a prince. Are you a prince? I know you to be one of the rich men of Ikenga Kingdom. I have heard so much about you. But what I don't know is why you are in my place. Should I understand you to mean that 
I cannot come before the priestess of our land? I did not say so, Vincent Onoduko. Same time, I did not see your visit as anything related to my office as the priestess of this kingdom. Beautiful. I am happy that has been revealed to you already. I am going to be straight and sincere. I am here for business. What business? A maiden of this land, a princess, has consumed my heart. And I have tried in many ways on my own to get her to me. But it hasn't been successful. That's why I have come to you. I want to get her through you. Which of the princesses are you talking about? Her name is Chisum, the younger princess. Wrong choice. That same princess has given her heart to a stranger. A man from another kingdom. And from what I see in the spirit, there is already complication. Complication? There can't be complications with you now. That's why I've come to you. I mean, with me, there can be complications. It can be complicated with me, but not with you. That is why I have come for you to help me pull this taunt. Why do you want me to be involved in this? Um, because as the priestess of our land, I want you to use your office, this power the gods have given to you, to start making money. I don't understand what you mean by that. Explain. You are beautiful. Your beauty is what I cannot describe. You are using the power the gods have given you just to serve the gods and people hardly pay you for it. I want you to start making money. Use this power to make money. Invoke her spirit here. I have plans. I have plans to get her pregnant. And as soon as I achieve that and she discovered she is pregnant, she will have no other option than to come to me. She will settle for me. And by the end of the day, I will give you 5 million naira. Just pull this down for me. What is wrong with the princess? She was having her lunch at the royal dining before she collapsed. And we have also taken her to the hospital. And he confirmed to us that he find nothing wrong with her. Then, Princess Adeza instructed we bring her before you. Because she believes you can solve the problem.
Princess Adeze instructed you to bring her before me. Because she is incapacitated. And as the one who positioned herself as the ruling queen, she cannot set her eyes on the incapacitated. You're right. She's, so, she's very dear to the king and we don't want her to die. She is not going to die. But she will remain with me in the next seven days. Seven days, priestess? How do we go back to Adeze and tell her this? A princess is not supposed to sleep outside the palace. That is what you feel. But this character lying before me has left the palace a long time ago. How? Mirama, honestly, you are confusing us. How can you say that she's from here, has left the palace a long time ago? Why is she still here with us? Go back to the palace. Tell her this, that is what I said. She's someone that is here with us. Is already somewhere with another who wants her for his healing. She must remain here to have her life back again. thing I can remember was I was in a meeting with the unknown of my land. Then I passed out and all of a sudden I woke up here. Hmm. So you're confirming to me that you're a prince? Yes. Oh! Miriam, I have heard a lot of unprintable things about you. How you associate yourself abominably with your fellow women, turning your back at men. Princess Adeze, your sister who is lying incapacitated right here should be your concern, not diving into my private life. I am just trying to present my case in a clear way. If you are using the guise of her being incapacitated, to try to defile her in your abominable way. Let me remind you that I am Princess Mori, and I will forget the fact that you are the priestess of this land and deal with you mercilessly. Princess, I will forget your insult and deal with the issue at hand. Your sister who is lying down there in my house has found herself a companion somewhere and she is with him. What do you mean by that? Do you wish to see your sister and know she's okay? You know I cannot set my eyes on her. 
I am the princess of this kingdom. The crowned princess of Ikenga. Setting my eyes on the incapacitated, it's like setting my eyes on the dead. And I am not ready to perform all the rituals that needs to be done for me to be cleansed. So no, I am not. Princess Adesi. Your hope is actually hopeless. For you are building a castle in the air. Why did you say that? I will ensure that your sister returns in one piece. But she will have to remain here with me. It's now making sense. How do you mean? We are connected. No, we are not. We are. Because you are the princess of Ikenga. And I am the prince of Dioka. Do you remember saying you were in search of healing? And I am your healer? I never said that. I can't remember saying that. You can't even remember the things you said? Someone is looking at us from a distance. I can feel it from here. Who is she and what does she want? Pay no attention to her. She's the priestess of Ikinga. She has been compromised. In that lonely forest where they are, they are lost. The young man feels my intrusions. But our princess wishes to be with him. All these are why I was asked to come and inquire. Huh? We already know Princess Chichon is here in your house. At the same time, elsewhere, with a ghost. I can't remember telling you that he is a ghost, you know. He's a human being wasting his time. What do you mean? I see blood. Lord? 
I say war. What do you mean? I said, mean the, the young man who killed the princess? No one is going to kill anyone. I see war. This war will actually start gradually and then become very big. But one good thing about it is that no one is going to die because it's a war between same blood. Mm. Priestess, I, I, I'm not here on my own. I came as the messenger of the king. Just to inquire on this. Why are you talking about war and blood? They see our princess as their healing. But she is not actually their healing. Princess, you, you are not helping matters at all. Which one are you talking about healing? He is not harmful. He is actually very peaceful. But the problem is that his past is connected to our princess, Adesi. That is the issue here. Every, everything is getting very complicated. Very complicated indeed. But the ghost of Ikenga is on it already. Uh, priestess, uh, as Princess of Ikenga, uh, does it mean you are not in position to tell me the meaning of this message? Oh no, I will tell you the truth. There are so many things I do not understand anymore. But let the princess remain here. I think everything will be fine. Thank you. You're welcome. I can see you uh, being free with me. You're very free with me as well. We are the only humans here. I feel like we are not in our bodies. Really? I actually think we are. There is something mysterious about everything that is happening around here. What do you think or feel about us? I... I think you should give this a try. I'm not in the mood of eating. Okay. I think Destiny is playing with us. Destiny. Mm -hmm. Is that a birthmark? 
Even my mother could not explain this mark. I... I want to be pampered by you. What is it? What is it? Miroma, speak! What do you see? Don't. Don't, don't do it! About. What is going on? Talk to me. What do you see? Evil! Evil! No! I want to leave here. Likewise. But I want to leave with you. Where? Where is he? <gasps> Miyama, talk to me. What is happening? What is going on? What do you see? Come with me to see your sister's body. Why would you say that to me? You know I cannot set my eyes on her. Setting my eyes on her will ruin me. Except you want to ruin me. Then allow me to do my work. It will be a great pleasure of mine. I want to come to your kingdom. No, I will come to your kingdom first. You will come to my kingdom? Yes. You mean you will come to Ikenga? I will. Tell your father, the king, and whoever that cares to hear, that I am coming to your kingdom. Princess Shisum, a man of this village has indicated interest in you, and he's ready. Now, I forbid you from allowing another man enjoy the woman in you.
What game are you playing? I am doing my job, princess. Go home and wait for the end. For Shisum, we'll come back in one piece. You know, they do not call me the no-nonsense princess for nothing. There is a reason. Miriamma, if anything goes wrong, you will feel my wrath. I promise you. You have made a promise to a princess. I'm sure you understand what it means. Let's also pray that we are not dead. We are not dead. Destiny is just playing on us. I pray we find a way out of this place as soon as possible. Yes. Yes. Yes, my prince. My friend. My friend. My friend. My friend. Nelson. Nelson, my friend. Machi, where is my friend? He's gone. Gone to where? It's time to go home. I have been waiting. <laughs> Miriam Machi, where is my friend? He has returned. It is time to go home. I've been waiting.
where did he return to? Your father is worried. The kingdom is already in tears. It is time to go home. And I ask, don't you want to go home? <laughs> His case is not as pathetic as reported. With time, he will be fine. Oh no, Wanamba. Does it mean you did not explain to him the situation we have at hand? Why is he sounding like he does not understand the gravity of the crisis we are dealing with here? In Igbo land, it is against the rules of engagement to explain situations to the Dibia. It is the Dibia who will unmask the situation. That is why he is the Dibia. Which is what I have done. He is going to be fine. But he needs a princess. A princess who is far away from this land. Where is this princess? And how do we find her? She has been yearning to be with your son, the prince. Uh, Please make this easy for us. If his healing is connected to this princess you speak about, Help us by telling us how to find her. Miriam Machi, I will ask again. Where is my friend? I was lying there with him, right there. His soul has returned back to his body. You will see him soon. I want to see him now. I really want to explain his encounter with the princess in the world beyond. Then you take it off from there.
Samson. Welcome back, my friend. You have seen your friend? Yes, I have. <sighs> Miramachi. Now, he has returned back to his people. People in the physical world, I mean. And I ask again, now that he's gone, don't you want to go home? I want to, Mirama. I want to return to the palace. He promised to come to our kingdom. I want to go and wait for him. I can see you are in love with him already. <laughs> Miriamma, I'm ready to return to the palace. Can you take me with you? Please. As you wish, my princess. I sent for you because the princess will be returning to the palace today. The princess of our land, you are confusing us. The princess was brought here because she had a spiritual attack, which medical science was not able to handle. Our princess has been here for days as instructed in Mirima. Why should we take her back to the palace when she's still not okay? The king promised a three-day feast when the princess returns. Go back to the palace. Tell him to start preparing for the feast. Princess. My princess. My princess. <laughs> Oh, thank the gods. Thank My princess is back. Yes. How did this happen? Where am I? Oh, where are we? And why do I feel so weak? Oh. Take her back to the palace. Let her freshen up. Give her something good to eat. Then we will take it off from there. My princess. Please. Greetings, Princess. Greetings, Obina. You may sit. Thank you. Please be seated. Thank you. You know, it is a rule in this palace that every visitor must be entertained. I equally know that no visitor must come to the palace empty-handed. That explains why I always arrive with a lot of gifts. Ah, Obina. 
This is one of the problems I have with you. Do not misunderstand me, beautiful one. I do not say that to make to mean bragging. I say that to make you know that I know the tradition. Oh, really? Yes. Good. Since we are talking about tradition, like you rightly stated, how come whenever you come here you hardly take anything? Princess, you are the only one that brings me to the palace. And if you who brings me to the palace does not give me a smiling face, how then can I be free? I sometimes wonder what you really want. Because I don't know. Here I am, sitting majestically, having a decent conversation with you, yet you are complaining. So I wonder, and I beg to ask again, what do you want? My love, you know exactly what I want. I want you. I am ready to come meet the king tomorrow to fulfill all requirements just so I can have you as my wife. You know, I have a serious problem with your timing. You clearly know the king is just recovering from a health challenges. Yet, you want to bug him with this. Okay. I'm prepared to wait. I've waited all this while. I just want you to reassure me that there will be light at the end of the tunnel. Tune it down. What sort of language are you using? Here I am, sitting with you, having a decent conversation with you, in a courtship with you. And he is referring to what we have as a tunnel. I didn't mean it to come that way. I'm sorry, sorry if that came bad. I love you, and I just want you to be mine. told us how you have been in the other world with a man in the royal forest of the dead. Yes, sister. Oh my goodness, you need to see this man. He is so handsome, so unique and... <sighs> He's exactly what every woman would want in a man. Guess what? He's a prince. He's a prince? Yes! But then, I can't exactly remember the name of his kingdom, but I know he's a prince and... Uh, <sighs> he's so cute! Is he a ghost? No, 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 no. He's not. I think we had the same fate and somehow we both found ourselves in the forest. But then he left before me and there was an apparition of... Miriam, mind then I don't know how I got here. But I can assure you he's real. Uh, honey, I don't think this is real. Uh, uh, listen, listen. This is a figment of your imagination. No, no, no. Sis, listen to me. I don't mind if every other person doubts this. 
If you believe me, I'm fine. I am telling you, sis. Listen, have you ever seen me like this? Mm, uh, no. Exactly. That's how you know this is real. In fact, I need an artist. Yes, I, I, I need an artist. And why would you want an artist? To draw him. I have a vivid picture of this man in my head. It's very handsome. You're going to like him. I can explain to the so artist. They are going to... You have to calm down now. I am sure you wouldn't want to bother dad with this. Do you want him calling a doctor on you? Calling a doctor? Yes. Why would he call a doctor on me? Am I sick? No, you are not. But you're beginning to sound like one. So you need... <gasps> listen, listen. I will believe you, but now you need to rest. Sis. That is because you don't believe me. Since I promise you're going to like this man. He's very gentle. He, he's discerning. Like, he's very handsome. Susan, calm down. You need to rest now, okay? Hmm? <laughs> no, 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 no. Dearest sister, you need to rest. I, 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 I can't rest. Uh, I keep thinking about him. Let me put no, you to rest. No, sis, hold on, sis hold on. believe you me. Sis, now. believe me. It's okay, I believe you. When you are done resting, we can now talk no. about this man of your dream. But, but for you, now, you need to rest. But you believe me. I do. You believe me? And we will talk oh, about it later. Sis, he's so cute. Shh, shh. It's okay. Just relax. Let me get water for you, okay? Okay. Just, just rest. <gasps> My friends. I don't care if I'm in your palace. Maureen, don't forget, I'm still the young Escobar. You know me and what I'm capable of doing. I want to marry your sister and there is nothing anybody can do about that. Young Escobar, you are mad. You are insane. I want you to die. I want you to die a mad man because you are not going to marry my sister. You are daring me. Hmm. I'm not. <laughs> Look at you. Look at you looking all stupid and foolish. Have you forgotten what you did to me? Young Escobar, have you forgotten the shame, the pain you inflicted on me? Now look at you. At my mercy. Holding you by your balls. Because there is nothing you can do. And I ask you now, where is your connection? Where are your cartels? Where is everything you hold on to? You want me to hand over my sister to you? Young Escobar, I will not do such. And I want you to recognize the fact that I am your queen and you must bow to me. I will never bow to you. Oh, really? And you are not in the position to decide who your sister marries. Watch me do it. Like I said, I have your balls in my hand. I can decide to squash it if I want. Now get out. Get out! Lies! Absolute lies! You have no right to decide who I spend the rest of my life with. You dare not. For I am Chisum, and I have a life to live, with whom I please. This man is the one after my heart, my soul, my spirit, and the anatomy of this body standing before you. We met in the royal forest of death and made it back alive. You think you can stop us? You cannot. Chisum, get inside. I am going nowhere. You have crossed the line and I've had it with your madness. What is it? What is it? Shh. 
What did he ever do to you so wrong? You can only punish him by torturing me. Well, I know you. You've never wanted my happiness. You pretend to be a saint, but deep down you're a very selfish and terrible person. This is the last I will take from you. You poisoned our father. Then the odds. I know you did that on purpose. Are you going to marry him? Absolutely. I will. <laughs> 